One more, Josh. Who do we got? A team you talk about all the time, the Texas Longhorns. Okay. And a team you rarely talk about, the Iowa State Cyclones. Actually, never. Yeah. <laughs> but Ames has been a house of horrors for Texas at times. Texas let TCU back in the game. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I never felt like they were going to lose that game. But when, it, when they were up 26-6 to six at halftime, you're like, ah, this is, this is what we've been waiting to see from Texas. Finally, they're blowing out the teams yeah. they need to blow out. This is one where they better win this thing because Iowa State winning this game plunges the Big 12 into utter chaos. Complete chaos. And te- Texas needs to win. I think they have a chance to win big, but after kind of watching them putter along, like you said, against the TCU, they come out, they score all these points. You're like, okay, this is the Texas team yeah. that's finally clicking on all cylinders at the exact right point of the season where they should be clicking on all the cylinders. Uh it, but it didn't finish that way. And Texas still has to prove to me that they're more than a good team. Right. Are you a great team or are you a good team? And Texas kind of flirts with that line. Just when we think they're a great team, they kind of move back. and We think they're a good team. Yeah. And Jonathan Brooks has a torn ACL. He's out. So CJ Baxter, mm-hmm. uh, shout out to the 407 yep. Orlando guy. He's got to he's got to pick up a slack there. He can. And he absolutely Absolutely can. Can. I, I don't worry about that. Um, and, and obviously – they're receiving core AD Mitchell, Whittington, Worthy. Like they 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 have the playmakers. And I, I just think they'll be okay. But like Haycock's gonna have a good good plan. He always has a good he plan on does. defense. Yep. And and Ewers did not look perfect coming out of that injury. So I think Iowa State covers and Texas wins. <sighs> I'm going with the Texas win and the Texas cover, um, but I do, uh, it's scary because Iowa State just does such a good job of disrupting things. This feels like the Kansas State game again. Yeah. The difference is Ewers is playing. I felt much – I took the Kansas State money line, and I think, you know, had things been called a little mm-hmm. – you know, the plays have been called a little differently. Maybe don't go for that fourth down. Perhaps they did win that game. Yeah. But, but that was Malik Murphy starting. This is Quinn Ewers. I, I would not – just say Iowa State's going to win this game. I think I'm not that confident. No, and Texas needs to send a message on their way out of the Big 12. They go in, they yeah. dominate Iowa State on the road. That's how that's how you need to leave. That's the message. That's yeah. a statement you need to make as you head to the SEC that hey, we're above and beyond this conference. We're leaving it yeah. behind, but Iowa State's going to make a run, but I am taking Texas and the cover. And if you are the other teams in the Big 12 hoping that Texas loses a game so that the tiebreakers then come into effect. You need, you need this one because I don't, I don't have faith in Texas Tech to beat Texas. No. So this is the one you need. But do you have faith? I mean, you have faith in Iowa State right now. I don't have a ton of faith, but I do. <laughs> listen, listen. I was in Ames, Iowa, on a Friday night when Oklahoma State went in there undefeated. Yeah. And stuff happens at Jack Trice Stadium mm-hmm. at night in November. Yeah. Like it's. It's just one of those places that uh, you catch it on the wrong night, you can be screwed. Yeah. And then you look at the, the – like, Iowa State's not out of it no. in the Big 12. They should be. That, but they should, but they're not. They're not. So that's the thing. If they were to win this game, there's a, a knot of teams with two losses at the top of the conference, <laughs> and all of the tiebreakers conflict. So, like, I, I'm not even going to attempt to figure out – how you break that tie if they win mm-hmm. because it really will come down to who wins the yeah. final game and don't and do that work until we see texas lose this one exactly then you can get in the bunker and kind of break exactly. down because it's too confusing anyway right. so like yeah i I'd say but i could see texas winning close just like they won against tcu mm. close yeah, just like they I won know. against kansas state but they close. shouldn't they shouldn't they shouldn't they shouldn't they should go in and beat them by three touchdowns but tech Texas has just never they been that. They, and, they, and they haven't turned that corner. I thought we were going to see him turn the corner last week I against was TCU. Sure. I really did. Listen, I had the remote in hand. 26-6. to six, I'm yeah. like, well, let's let's check on this Florida LSU game because it seems like it's it's close right now. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait, how, is how did this happen? This I did the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah. I stopped. I never checked it after halftime until I think there was three or four minutes left in the in the yeah. game, and I just was like blown away that this thing got close. Yeah. yeah so it's, I that's what I want to see from Texas. Like, yeah. I will fully believe in Texas when it just comes out and shreds the teams it's supposed to shred. Which, by the way, 
there are going to be fewer of those in the SEC than there are in the Big That's why 12. you got to make the statement now. I'm not sure they're ready to make it. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On3Sports YouTube channel.